Wolverine. I'd probably put him at D line because of uh, you know he he claw his way in to get the quarterback. Spider Man, uh, DB. So he tie up the legs of those receivers with the webs. Uh, Batman. Uh, I'd have him for night games, you know, because he's that's where he works at night. Iron Man. Uh, He's the guy I'd want maybe off the field in the equipment room uh, designing our stuff for us. Uh, helmets with, uh, with built-in video and all that. Okay, so the Hulk, he'd be my left tackle because uh, nobody's going to hit the quarterback. That's if I have a right-handed quarterback. Nobody's going to hit him off that left side. Uh, Captain America, uh, he'd be our, our pregame guy to you know, get things going, talk to the team, get them fired up. Uh, and then uh, at the right moment, if there, anything ever goes wrong, he could throw that shield and knock everybody down. So that's, that's, that'd be my group. Uh, Superman, of course, back at quarterback. Uh, he'd, he'd be the guy that could run or throw the ball no matter what. If I could draft a superhero right away, I'd just go, I, I would go past the other ones. I'd go to Superman. His vertical is probably a little better than the rest of those other characters, so we need to jump high. I mean, well, you know, I, I'll get the ingredients, what, the, the stuff behind the kryptonite, and, you know, we'll, we'll have it on the sideline, and we'll pregame meal our ass off with kryptonite, and we'll go kick everybody's ass. I would draft Spider-Man to be my quarterback um, because he could get out of trouble, and he's extremely elusive. Uh, Superman would be my middle linebacker, run sideline to sideline, physical in between the tackles. That would definitely be the guy there. I'm thinking uh, Wolverine would have to be a defense lineman uh, down in there in the trenches, just tough, physical, nasty Wolverine down there, kind of like a nose at the nose guard position. Uh, Iron Man would probably be a running back for me. Uh, solid, hard-nosed, tough, fight for the extra yardage, uh, physical inside the tackles. Iron Man would be that guy there. Uh, ooh, Hulk would be my offensive lineman. Hulk would be my center. I'd have Hulk and Wolverine going at it like this every single play. Superman scraping around the edge to try and hit Spider-Man. Very elusive. Iron Man be stepping up past pro uh, What do I got? Ooh, Captain America would have to be my corner. I put Captain America at corner, and Batman would be my wide receiver. You know what I mean? I don't know the Batman has the speed I need uh, at wide receiver, but I think Batman would be a good wide receiver. Captain America would be my lockdown corner, and we would have a superstar set up right there playing for the Birmingham Stallions on opening day. I'm going to draft Superman, I mean, because he can do it all. Batman, uh, I would say Batman's probably going to be somewhere uh, in that linebacker to uh, safety area. I mean, because of his build, big, strong, quick, uh, tough guy. Spider-Man, he's definitely going to be out at receiver because he can, you know, he can just suck the ball in with those webs, catch everything that's thrown. And then, you know, I'm going to go, Iron Man's going to be on defense and the Hulk is going to be in the D-line. You know, you got, the Hulk's got to be in the D-line. And uh, let's see, uh, Captain America, you know, I mean, most people would think he's going to be your quarterback, but I'm gonna, he's going to be my tight end, you know. He's going to be a good-looking guy. He probably, you know, gets a lot of the girls. I mean, that whole deal. And Wolverine, straight defense all the way. Well, I think that I would draft Superman. One of the reasons I would draft Superman is that he is very versatile. He is strong. He's obviously quick. Uh, if you needed a long play, he could actually fly there. I think Batman is intimidating. You know, you need to have that opponent kind of wondering really what this guy is like. And this guy is just, it really makes you nervous when you see him. And, you know, I also like Spider-Man. I like uh, the athleticism in this guy. The fact that he can use his forces to go right from building to building. I mean, you can always use a guy like that on your team. You know, Captain America's got the star and we're the generals, so he fits right in with our logo. Defensively, I'd go with Wolverine. Um, the guy's, you know, he's all over the place. Uh, quick, strong, um, and, and finishes people, so <laughs> Wolverine would be on defense. Obviously, the Hulk would be one hell of an offensive lineman. And 
you know, if you're going to hand the ball to somebody, Superman, that would be hard to tackle, I think. Really hard to tackle. <laughs> My number one pick would be, obviously, Superman. Because he can fly, he's faster than a speeding bullet, uh, you can't kill him. You know, I mean, he's incredible. The only thing he has an issue with is kryptonite. And I got a plan for that. I've got a special box in my office underneath the desk for the kryptonite. But that's my number one pick. Those other guys are good players. Batman, you like him because he's a playmaker. Iron Man, he's two-way. He can play offense and defense. So you gotta give him some consideration. I think I'd like to have Hulk as my running back, uh, especially at the goal line. So those other guys, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Wolverine, they're backups. I love them, but they're not good enough to start for me right now. Well, I'm a big Batman guy. If I were in a locker room and I had Batman as, as my quarterback, to hear him say, I'm Batman, gives you great confidence <laughs> in, in your football endeavors. The Hulk, uh, for sure, you're putting him on the, uh, either the offensive line or, or a, the defensive line, he'd make a great Aaron Donald, um, a very disruptive, strong guy that uh, I believe would be very hard to stop. Um, Superman, you know, he's got to be the running back. Um, you know, put the ball in his hands as many different ways as you can. Uh, I see Spider-Man as a wide receiver, cornerback. Um, you need those long arms, uh, sticky hands, uh, the ability to catch the football whenever it's thrown near you. Hey, it's Shea Patterson. Thanks for watching this USFL video. For the best USFL fan experience, subscribe below and gain access to the best football content on planet Earth.